Well, there's more space weather. And like all weather, the space weather originates in your local neighborhood on this thing. It's called the sun. It's totally sweet. We're going to talk all about it. First, let's look at some filaments. There's some nice ones over here. Check these out. By the way, 304 angstroms. It's a good wavelength for filaments. Check it out. Oh, there you go. There's some good ones. Here's a nice one over here, a real persistent one. Could be caused by chemtrails. Just kidding, because those aren't real. All right. Before we get into that, though, I want to show you one thing real quick. Featured channels. Head to our page. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Share the videos. Some of them are for real. Some of them are for fun. Also, thank you, subscribers. I mean, last I checked, I was at 40, and all of a sudden, I'm at 132. So that's pretty amazing. We appreciate the support, the comments, etc. Now, check out the featured channels. I'm not going to tell you all about them. I'm just, just going to list them. Sky Scholar. What, what is going on here? What? Hey, I just clicked on something that I didn't click on. Thanks, Google. I know your software doesn't really work. Ugh. All right. So, featured channels. Subscribe. Watch their videos. Sky Scholar, Dr. Pierre Marie Robitaille, Oppenheimer Ranch Project, hosted by David Moriello, Suspicious Observers, hosted by Ben Davidson, David Schlottower, Meteorologist, hosted by David Schlottower, Meteorologist, and Dutch Sense, the world's leading earthquake forecaster. All right, so back to space weather. Got the sun at 304 angstroms. We got no sunspots. A little bit of activity here and here. But not that much. Now, it looks like we've got a magnetic connection going on here. Let's go to Space Weather News, look at the stats. Here's the sun at 193 angstroms. You can see the coronal hole from which we are currently receiving a solar wind and a new northern coronal hole, which is, I believe, beginning its magnetic connection at the same time that the solar wind happens. And I'll show you why in a minute. So X-ray flux has been very fluxy. It's, as you can see, it's all over the place. We got this crazy pattern going on. Now the BTB, the BTBZ angle's been jumping around and the phi angle has been trying to center in on about 270 degrees, which is what makes me think that that North Corona hole is now magnetically connecting while at the same time the solar wind speed is ramping up along with the temperature because the uh, protons from that older coronal hole are now arriving at the same time the magnetic influence of the new coronal hole are here and the main evidence is this right there that's the biggest spike we've had in the, in the GOES magnetometer in at least a week or so. And also now we're at an even higher risk for big earthquakes now because while the electron flux is now finally ceasing a little bit, giving satellites a chance to discharge, um, we're going to have a big magnetic connection at the same time that the coronal wind stream arrives. The F2 ionosphere map isn't looking too anomalous. Let's look at some more data on solar ham. As you can see, no sunspots. Now, you want to look at some of the best data on the sun? Go to sdo.gsfc.nasa.gov and you can look at the same data. All right. Here's the magnetic lines. Pretty sure that northern hole is connecting now. So, yeah, we're getting the wind stream at the same time as the connection is being established from the northern coronal hole. Let's take a look at 171 angstroms. Hey, thanks again, subscribers. 
More videos daily. Oh, and be ready for things like earthquakes. We've had a series of deep earthquakes all around the Pacific Rim, around Western South America. So the likelihood of a more shallow, more significant quake is now at a very high level. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned.